Hi, in the second phase of version 2.5, we'll be getting Big Sparkle. Jokes aside, Lingxia is looking like a pretty good unit with a more damage-oriented take on the healer role. But does just having more focus on doing more personal damage make her worth it? Well, here are 3 cool dings and 3 annoying dings to consider before you pull for Lingxia. Before we start, I stream sometimes on Twitch, link in the description, and I'll be giving away a supply pass slash welcome moon to my subscribers at 6k subs, so make sure you subscribe to enter. First of all, how does Lingxia work? For those that don't know, I have a guide linked in the description, but in a nutshell, Lingxia is a 5 star fire abundance unit that heals and deals damage based on break effect. Her talent makes her summon Fu Yuan on her skill, which launches a photo up attack to all enemies while dispelling one debuff and healing all allies. Her skill does damage and heals in AoE while advancing Fu Yuan forward. And her ultimate also damages and heals in AoE, but this time literally granting Fu Yuan a turn and an additional debuff that makes the enemy take more break damage. Overall, she has a very straightforward kit, similar to the other summon units in this game like Jin Yuan and Topaz. This time however, she is a healer, so that is pretty interesting. As I mentioned before, she is a break healer, and that means that with some help, she could be doing some incredible damage as that brings us onto the 3 cool things about Ling Xia. Ling Xia does a lot of damage, and I mean a lot, especially in break teams. Being a unit that skills off break effect, it means that if you are playing her in a team with teammates like Harmony MC and Ron Mei, she has some really high personal damage, topping every single sustain in the game. Alongside having really frequent attacks and being AoE attacks, she kinda acts like a pseudo erudition unit, but also able to heal. In fact, due to Ling Xiao also skilling off attack, if you wish to, going crit is an option if you do not sacrifice speed and break effect, truly making her a sub DPS. Talking about healing, the frequent attacks of Fu Yuan that also heals, and her healing being on both skill and ultimate means that Ling Xia is able to heal really often. Of course, the frequency is really dependent on how many skill points you want to spend, as using more skills means more ultimates and means more Fu Yuan actions. But having the option to heal basically every few actions is incredible, making her one of, if not the best healer in the game. Now that we mentioned her damage and healing, we also need to mention her insanely good debuff on her ultimate too. Lingxia's ultimate inflicts Befog, which increases break effect damage taken. This can be up to 25% at trace level 10, and that is a really significant damage increase, both making herself do more damage and making her best teams do more damage. Naturally, this debuff does not benefit every team she can be in, but that does not take away the fact that it makes her all the more worth it if you're running break teams. However, with all that being said, there are some huge caveats to Ling Xia as a unit as that brings us onto the 3 annoying things about Ling Xia. There is already a super strong break effect healer in the game called Galagir. Especially if you have him at high etalons, Galagir will still maintain its position as one of the best healers for break teams. And in terms of healing output, Galagir still stands strong against Ling Xia despite being a 4 star. Just as she's a side grade for Galagir, she's also a side grade for most other teams. Outside of break effect teams, Ling Xia will perform decently as she is just a great healer overall, but that doesn't change the fact that the best in slot sustains for most other teams will be someone else, whether it's adventuring for photo up attack teams or Huo Huo for energy heavy teams. And one last annoying thing about Ling Xia is that at the very minimum, Ling Xia is less skill point efficient compared to most other sustains. While a lot of sustains can get away with basic spamming against easier content like Aventurine or Locha, Ling Xia needs to at least refresh her Fu Yuan summon with a skill once in a while. 